booked. And as Halloween creeps closer, Hawaii's premier haunted experiences make their return. Yeah, that includes the famously scary haunted plantation. That's where our Chris Latronic joins us now live in Waipahu with more. Aloha and good morning, Chris. Aloha and good morning to you, Sam, Sarah, and everybody on this Aloha Monday. And yes, I'm here back at the Haunted Plantation. They just opened up over the weekend, and it's already been a scary experience. A great historical place to come, uh, but when it comes to Halloween time, that's when it gets a little bit scary. And with all of these different historical plantation houses, it is very scary. Oh, ooh, good. <laughs> here to tell us more. Not so scary, though. Ariel, good morning to you. She's the event coordinator. How's this past weekend go? Very busy, yeah. very busy, very fun, very scary. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, tell me, oh, what time does it actually open and how do people get tickets? We open at 6, <coughs> excuse me, um, 6 p.m. to midnight or to 10. And then you can get tickets online through our website at hawaiihauntedplantation.com. And who do you recommend not to come to this scary experience? Uh, nobody under 13, so probably don't bring your kids. Uh, pregnant women, seizures of the like. Uh, we do a bunch of lights and fog and some scary sounds. Yes, uh, thank you so much, Ariel. So make sure you get your tickets. We'll have a link to get those. But also, just experiencing this, these very scary houses, historical, but also Noel Laporga, the master of scares somewhere here. Noel, where are you stay? Hey, right here. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up? Uh, tell me a little bit about, I mean, all these houses have historical significance, but yeah. also scary significance. Tell me about this house. Um, are we coming in? Oh, or Yeah, you guys are invited. Well, this is just a Puerto Rican house, but, um, you know, uh, a lot of these houses, you know, you know, I think... Ah, uh, who's that over there? Well, Waipahu in general, or just Hawaii in general, there's a lot of haunted spots, you know? But, uh, yeah, this area has a lot of energy, this road right above. Um, a lot of stories about, like, spirits coming over um, from all that construction, and I guess... Uh, some um, spiritualists say they would see spirits um, climbing over the fence um, because of all the construction happening from across the road, you know, on Malakeke Street. And that's when things started happening uh, was because of that. Because this place was built in, what was it, 92, 97? Mm -hmm. So it's uh, fairly new as far as, like, the homes. And some yeah. structures were brought in. Um, but it's because of um, a lot of the stuff that was happening up the street. Uh, people will say they would see the spirits kind of just coming over that fence line and then finding their way to the village. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, a lot of fun stuff. But for the village itself, it's just like uh, we like to lace the place with over like 50-plus uh, actors. Mm -hmm all in uh, professional makeup and stuff, because we have our own makeup effects studio too, yes. so we do that. Yes, and you don't want to miss this experience, and it sells out quick, so make sure you go online. That's the only way you can make reservations for the Haunted Plantation back for 2024. This is Chris Atronic working for Hawaii, sending things back to you. I'll be right back.